Hey guys, what's going on? It's being the Assassin Games here, and uh, we're back. I know, it's been a while, it's been a while. I just haven't been in the mood to do this, and I've just been so distracted with school and my other projects on YouTube. But, uh, just want to start it off saying thank you for all the support. Even the little bit of support on this series is keeping it alive. This support is, um, actually surprising for what I thought I was going to get for it. This is a very not well-known game, a very... Uh, most people wouldn't really be attracted to this game. They're like, uh, no, it's all side-scroller, and it's a horror game. That side-scroller, that's just stupid. I, I'm enjoying my time a lot. It's good-ish. But, uh, it's good for $2, and that's what I paid for it. But we're just gonna go on and continue. I forget where we right left off. Uh, we are in the sewers, I believe. Yeah, we can... I think this is the sewers. But, uh... This is a little strange to me now. I gotta get used to the whole square is pretty much X and all that. There wasn't much in the way of clean water. Okay, sink did work. I gotta go potty. Did I bother to take it? No. Okay, I didn't see the point in carrying the hunk of wood. I did mess up with the knife in case you guys didn't watch like part 2 or part 3. I accidentally clicked it again because I didn't know what was there because you can't really tell if it's a knife or not. And I clicked uh, X and I pressed triangle to skip past that. And I'll, I'll just run through these bushes. I honestly think I'm almost done with this game. First one I've seen this might have been the exit to the other side of the woods. Alright, let's go. I had finally found the exit. Once I left, I knew I never wanted to return there. Alright, well, we're out of the woods now. Through the dense trees, I could finally start to see some light. I must have been at the edge of the forest, though. I wasn't sure where the path ahead of me led. I could almost feel the cryptic notebook in my... Oh, I thought this said back pocket. In my pocket as I tried to think about what I could be, what it could mean. And where were the campers who had abandoned their sight? Would I meet them, too? Though the path ahead of me was dense, I still felt guarded and wary. Who knew what was ahead? That's right. I, th I thought... Okay, we're leaving. I can see the road, the guardrail. We're leaving. We're out of here. In case you guys are just watching this episode, by the way, don't say, like, oh, I can't see the rest of the Vita screen. That's how it is. The only thing you can see is uh, the little circle of light from the flashlight. As I stepped through the gate, I suddenly recognized the auto parts factory where I had worked as a machinist for those years. I mean, for all those years. The plant had closed almost three years ago now. Times were better then. I thought I could hear a faint rustling behind me. Maybe it was just, oh, it was not just the wind, bro. There's a city. Let's go into the city. Actually, no, I don't want to leave yet. Oh, it's all tilted. Sorry about that. Strain it out. Go to the left first, and then I go. Oh, we're in the factory now. This is where the killer hangs out. One of the lockers hung open. Okay, toss like blah blah blah. The door was locked, shut, blah blah blah. We don't care. There was a large power box with five lights, cables burst out, box, uh, other parts of the factory and metal are starting to wear and cobwebs and collected on the corners. The box wasn't receiving power. Okay. <laughs> I know, I just sum it up pretty. Door was locked tight. Alright. I just, uh, basically see what it says and then sum it up where I just say it really fast because I know it doesn't matter. Every part of the plan, okay, rotted. I noticed the old bulletin board on the wall. So he used to work here, pretty much. Uh, newspaper and cartoons. There were no notes to from the guys that worked here. One of them was Norman. Okay. Older guys on the line. Maybe Norman was uh, taking all these guys' wives and having his way with them. Hmm, that power panel looked like that I pushed a switch. Sure. What's in here? Open locker was stuffed. Dirty clothes. There was a photo of a woman. Gosh. Norman, Norman, Norman. <laughs> Face but not unrecognizable. The power panel looked like it was shut off. Did I push the switch? Wait. Did did I turn this one on or turn this one off? The power panel still wasn't working. Did I try it again? Yes. Seemed to be working again. Okay. I learned my lesson from when I was in the sewers pulling those things. Seems to be working again, alright? So what we're doing is, 
Press TIG. We're just turning all these things on. If there's more. I don't know if there is, bruh. But, um, uh, you know, I'm... I was just about to say I'm gonna end the episode, but no. We're just gonna go a little longer, guys. Our old break table, the layer of dust and grime, only made seeing this thing. Okay. Let's go up, up, the stairs, stairs. Up, up, the stairs, stairs. Oh, for all you montage lovers, or people that like montage, or just like me playing Call of Duty on my channel, I have another montage coming. I have my first clip. It's only 11 seconds. Uh, it was this on container. Hint, hint, by the way. Uh, oh, Norman's locker. Dented. Oh, he freaking shoved someone in there. I don't remember him doing that when he worked there. Hmm. Maybe there was a fight. But, uh, anyway, I got 11 seconds of my montage started. I'm going to keep working on it, so I don't know if there will be, but if I don't get it done in time, like if I don't get the whole montage together in time, there may be a decline in videos. I know it's super slow on my channel now. I'm so sorry, guys. I gotta get back into the mood of this and the swing of things. I know school hit me like a ton of bricks, but I'm back now. I got montages. I got my mod showcase, and I'm gonna start with that again, hopefully, if I can get some shields or some class mods. I don't know. Uh, and I'm gonna finish this walkthrough out pretty quickly, hopefully. But you guys probably already read this, but I'm gonna read it anyway. A utility shelf crammed with mismatched tools and items. There was a there was a claw hammer on the shelf. No, we already have a knife. What was I going to do? Oh, no, we need the hammer. Claw hammer. Oh, I don't know what a claw hammer is. He he says that he doesn't know how he needs it, but in my uh, eyes, I think that the hammer can be used for prying that wood off. I know it's just a hammer, but... Oh! I knew it! We're getting in there. This was my locker. There in the factory, it stank of booze. There was a picture of Rachel on the inside. It it looked like it had been torn off. Torn up. I thought I had taken that picture home when the factory closed. Norman! Norman, Norman, Norman. But uh, as we do the Nene here, as our guy... Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. But yeah, this was part five. I know it took me like a week, two weeks, maybe a week and a half to get this video up. Uh, but I got it up now. I may go record part six, depending on how I feel about my montage. But, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more. Uh, pretty much anything. I, I do information videos, I do walkthroughs now, again, I do mod showcases now, <laughs> I do, I don't know, I just do everything, I do discussion videos, which I'll bring back in a bit, I'm gonna start podcasts pretty soon, so hope you guys enjoy, and have a wonderful day, peace out guys.